Now, where do reviews come into play for your business and how do they affect you? It really comes into play in picking the right products to sell. Now, we've talked about this, I've had lots of videos. When you're picking products, you gotta do the analysis. You gotta take yourself out of the equation. What you do, what you think, what you like, what your spouse likes, what your kids like, irrelevant. That, that's one of the common mistakes that I see a lot of beginners make. What is going on Amazon business owners and very soon to be Amazon business owners? Bob Schneck checking in with you today. Really excited to be here on an absolutely spectacular day. I had to get outside. It's getting a little crazy in the office and I just wanted to do a really quick video. I just got done with a coaching session with one of our students and we were discussing picking products and, and they brought up a question that I thought would be an excellent video for you guys. And the question was, Bob, how do reviews impact my business? Now, they had been told a bunch of stories that if you have bad reviews, uh, you're not gonna rotate in the buy box. And, and again, it's just a bunch of information that is wrong. And I, and I wanna tell you again and emphasize, at Algo, we have a proven business model. Buy low, sell high, and sell brand new name brand products. And it works every single time. And in addition to that, I can show you step by step how to set up your business so that you are promised guaranteed sales on the very first day your products go live on Amazon. So where do reviews come into play here? Now, the reality of it is your personal reviews on you as a seller are important, but I don't worry too much about them because we are selling brand new name brand products and it's being delivered through Amazon, so we should have a pretty good reputation. Now, where do reviews come into play for your business and how do they affect you? It really comes into play in picking the right products to sell. Now, we've talked about this, I've had lots of videos. When you're picking products, you gotta do the analysis. You gotta take yourself out of the equation. What you do, what you think, what you like, what your spouse likes, what your kids like, irrelevant. That, that's one of the common mistakes that I see a lot of beginners make, is they don't know what to do, they don't know what to sell, so they think about what they like, they think about what their kids like, but you know what, that's a hard lesson to learn, and here's what it is, I'll just tell you right up front. You don't make money selling to yourself. So what you think, what you do, what you like is an irrelevant point. Stick to the system, do the analysis, understand what your profit is up front, got lots of videos on that. Go ahead and do the analysis on sales velocity, right? How many sell every single month? And then of that, how many, are how many buyers or sellers, I should say, are qualified for the buy box so you know how you're gonna rotate in. Don't sell something that you, don't, that you can't be qualified for the buy box for, it just doesn't make sense. So here's where reviews come into play in picking the right products. Once we've gone through the analysis and we realize that there's great sales velocity, we realize there's great profit and ROI, the next question is, is how are we gonna deal with returns? Now, this is not fantasy land. Returns are a part of the business. You need to understand that. So I always plan on about 3% return in sales. Amazon handles it because it goes through uh, the FBA platform, so I don't have to worry about it. But when you wanna cut down on returns, then you need to be reviewing the product. In other words, what are people saying about this product? It might be a brand name, it might have excellent ROI, it might have great sales velocity, but people are returning, people are complaining. And the way you're gonna learn that is by reading the reviews. Take some time, look backwards, look at the last year. What are the reviews? What are people saying? Because there are some products that have inherently high returns. Now, if you've done all your analysis and everything looks good, but you can tell from reviews that there are lots of returns, you know, my suggestion is move on to the next. Remember, there's an endless supply of products we can sell, so don't get wrapped up, don't get emotional. You wanna look for products that have, yeah, there will be returns, that's the reality. You just don't want it to be too much. So the way you're gonna do that is looking at the reviews, reading backwards for about the last year, see what people are saying, and just kind of make an educated guess on whether or not this is a product that has a bad reputation that has high return rates. And then make your decision from there. Like I said, this is not a complicated business. And at Algo, we have a time-tested proven business model. 
What do we do? We buy low. We buy in bulk at a discount from, from authorized suppliers, name brand products. We mark those products up. We sell them a little bit higher on the Amazon platform. But again, the key is selling the products that people are already coming to Amazon to purchase. Now, if you like the sound of that, if you like the sound, are you ready for this one? Of being able to promise you sales the very first day your products go live on Amazon, you need to check out our webinar. I'll actually be hosting a live webinar in the next couple of weeks, uh, and it is, it is live, right? So I answer all the questions till people are done. Uh, you'll get a great understanding of what our business model is all about, how you can plug into it. All you gotta do is click the button down below and get yourself registered and do it right now. Now, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, because we put these out all the time. And again, I can't wait to see you online. This is Bob Schneck. Thanks again for your time.